lesser deep in the eastern Himalayan region is Kanchanjunga Biosphere Reserve, one of the remotest region of Sikkim. Located within the reserve is Chongri village, home to traditional yak herders. For generations, these herders have led their huts to the high pasture of Lower Yambung and Upper Yambung. <coughs> This is my friend Dawa Sangpo Budia, and this is me, Kangmila Michao, with my dog Gassi. And together we are traveling in the interiors to know more about the herders and observe the nature closely. There are signs we are on the correct track as the path is well trodden. Horses that have carried their owner supplies up to the higher altitudes are now free to graze. We are exploring the mountains to understand more about the herders' way of life. As we go a little further, we hear the sound of gushing waters. And we come across the Sankula River, rushing down the mountains. There are pools of crystal clear waters where the hut can rest and drink. This place is perfect. The clear waters, the blue skies, and nature in all its glory. The reserve has high biodiversity and an immense variety of life forms. I feel a sense of peace in this place. Our journey brings us to the harder camps and at altitude of 14,000 feet. There are five yak herders in this camp. Each of them owns about 60 yaks. Hmm. 
life here is almost completely isolated from the rest of the world. The harder room, the higher altitude areas for most of the spring and summer. Raising yaks in these areas comes with many benefits, but it is also hard work. These yaks also provide the harder sweet meal. <laughs> the meal is made into butter and a special dried cheese called chirpy. <laughs> The chirpy provide nutrition for the harvest. It is also sold in the market for around 800 rupees per kg. Butter can be sold around rupees 600 per kg. The turkey is pressed and dried, so it can be last for a long time. The hearts graze mainly in alpine meadows, reaching up to 19,000 feet. Most of the times, the eggs are left in the pasture without their owners. The yaks, other animals, and the birds are like friends and family to the horrors. Living far from the village below, there are no lights, no vehicles, and no form of communications with the rest of the world. And yet they have everything they need. I've been in 
I am happy to spend time and get to know the harders. Their life are completely different from all life. These high mountains, the forests and the rivers are the hardest world. I feel sad to leave this place of peace and quiet.